Zantua Diva and in today's video I just wanted to share with you how I purge my um, storage closet. I'm not going to show you my closet because it's a mess but as you can imagine taking this amount of stuff out has really reduced a lot of the stuff that I had. So I'll go through one by one and show you what I'm getting rid of and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. I originally was participating in a collab hosted by Diva Designer on a Dime with Kimberly Davis, but I just noticed that the collab um, has been taken off of her board. But I still wanted to get rid of these items, so I am just going to share with you what I'm getting rid of, maybe why I'm getting rid of it, and what I'm going to do with it. So stay tuned if you'd like to see how I purge the things out of my home that I no longer need. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. To my oldies but goodies, thank you so much for being a part of the Diva family and thank you all for watching this video. Alright family, so all of these items <clears throat> are houseware items that I'm going to be purging today. Um, yeah, so I went through my closet and decided, I just looked at things and said, am I going to use it? Am I going to keep it? What am I going to do with it? So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I don't even know where to begin. Let's get this stuff off the floor. So this is a fruit basket. Um, I think my mom gave me this fruit basket some time ago. She uh, wasn't using it anymore. And it's such a nice fruit basket. It's kind of heavy. And so she wanted to give it to somebody that could use it. And I used it for a while. But what I found was that um, it just wasn't working for me. Now I have a two-tier uh, fruit basket. And I like that one better. And so since this one is just laying around in my storage closet. And I haven't used it in probably two years. I'm going to go ahead and donate that this. Um... I'm either going to drop them all. I'm either going to drop these items off at Goodwill, or there is a um, it's like a drug rehab center where people live in house and they go through this program to learn how to stay clean from drugs and also how to they have to get a job after the initial however many weeks of the program. And, and they just teach them how to return back to society. And so they have a department that you can drop donations off for people that are graduating to their own place. And um, I probably, if I can get on that inner town, I'm going to take all of these items there. Um, but more than likely, if I can't, then I'll take them to Goodwill. But um, I'll keep you updated in a later video what I did. But it's probably going to be that center. This next item, I don't even know what you call it, a drink dispenser set in here, a glass drink dispenser, and the spout was here, and you could put your cup under to um, get your drink. So the glass drink dispenser cracked, and it was leaking, so we threw that away. But I figured this could be used for some sort of basket or plant holder or something like that. All of my plant stands are um, wood, a dark wood, like my living room furniture. I don't, I haven't used this in over two years, so I'm donating this as well. This is the last item on the floor. Um, I actually had this in the last purge, and then I decided to keep it. This sits on your desk, and your computer sits up here, and there is a drawer that slides in and out for extra storage. I, I said I was going to keep it and I was initially using this in the bathroom and I had stuff under it and above it but it just really wasn't working and I ended up getting a different kind of um, organizer. This is great though. It has pouches on the side so I'm just going to donate it. I do have another one that I'm going to keep because I'm going to be getting we're going to find a home for this couch and love seat that are in here and then I am going to put my work computer on this wall and excuse me my personal computer will be on this wall and my work computer is already over there so that's the plan I have decided to part ways with my Keurig holder 
So your Keurig coffee machine sits up here and these drawers pull out and you have all your Keurigs lined up here. I just really don't have the space for this anymore. Um, I love it. It is so good. I got this from Amazon years ago. But it is awesome. I just don't have the space on my counter anymore. So, so this was a mirror that I got from the at-home store for $14.99. There was another one similar. And these were on the wall together. The in our move here, the other one broke. I don't have space or a place to just put this one mirror. So I've decided to part with it. I also had this, I think it was four pieces. In my old living room, those four pieces were on one wall. And the two mirror, the mirror I just showed you and the one that broke were on another wall. But I'm really just farmhouse now and this doesn't go with anything. This one is cracked, I'll probably throw it away. But I'm going to give these two away. I have no idea where I got this from. I use it for a pen holder on my old desk. I have something. All of my accessories from my desk now are clear. And um, I just don't have a need for it. It's, it's right cute. I think my mom gave it to me. It's right cute. I just don't have a need for it. So I'm going to give it to somebody who can, who can use it. This picture came from the at-home store. I showed this in the last purge. I kept it at the last minute saying maybe I could hang it in my closet. I never did. It's been in there for months. I got it from at home. I think it was 90% off the $6.99. Great price. I don't have a need for it. It also came, or wall art also came from the at home store. It says Girls Rule. It was in my old office at the old house. This also was in my office. Shoes, champagne, and sunshine. Yes, it was super cute. My old office didn't really have a theme. I was just looking for, this is a four piece set. This was also in the last Purge video that I shared. There's a bigger picture that goes with these three. It's a four piece set that I don't use anymore. The four pieces were $19.99 and 90% off at, at home. It was the end of one holiday season one year, I think after Christmas. And I just saw a whole bunch of different pictures and they were 90% off and they didn't have a rhyme or reason for me. I just liked them so I got them. Donating it. She doesn't need it anymore. This is an old picture. It's a really nice frame. She thought maybe I could put something else in it. I don't really have a need for it. She gave it to me a year ago and it's just been sitting in a corner. I don't have any plans for it. Neither can I think of what I want to do with it so I'm donating it. I don't know where my husband got this clock from. We've had this clock for years. And for years, it was in our living room. But since we've been here, we don't use it. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't use it and we don't have a need for it. I figure I'd give it to somebody who could use it. I know in the last purge, I said I was going to keep this. This goes against the wall like this. It's just a little, a little shelf. I could probably change the color, make it cute, put it somewhere, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to donate it. I got this sign, this fall sign, for a collab this, this past fall, and I never used it. It's from Dollar General. I paid five bucks for it. It has collected dust since I bought it. This is a prayer that, that we used to say when we were little. Remember that? I just don't have a need for it. I don't use it. I took it down when we moved in the house. I just It's just not me. Even though I pray um, before I eat every meal, I just don't see that I'm going to use, I personally am going to use this. <clears throat> so I'm going to donate it. Somebody would be happy to have this, especially if they have kids and they want to teach them how to say their prayer or something that they can have up in the kitchen or the dining room. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to donate it. Now, I just got these for fall, for the fall beverage vignette. I got these. They also came from Dollar General. Same day I got the fall sign. I did use them. I love them. They're stackable. But I've really gone in a different direction as far as container, the types of containers that I use. Now, these canisters came from the old house. And they originally were purple. 
and I spray painted them. One of them, yeah, they originally were purple. That's just the plastic bag for me painting them. I, I painted them this color. I hate to just throw them away. They're so heavy and they're so good. I don't think anybody would buy them, but somebody in need may want these just until they can get something else that they really want. So I'm going to put them in the box. And um, if somebody will take them, they, they, I'll gladly give them. So. This cute little sign, my husband loves the sign, but I don't have anywhere to put it. It's uh, 1 Corinthians 13, 4, love suffereth long and is kind. It's something more for a child. I figured a mother would put this in their little girl's room. My husband loved this little thing, but he hasn't asked about it since we've been in this house. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to donate it. Anyway, I went and got like 20 at first and it wasn't enough. So I ended up getting, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 20, 2, 3, 4, 25. I went and ended up getting a total of 25 light bulbs. And I think I still need two because um, that closet still has a yellow tint. And maybe one other room. Or maybe that's the only one. Um, I still need one more daylight, at least one more daylight light bulb. But I'm not going to use these again. If my daylight light bulb goes out, I'm going to get another daylight. So, since these are good, let's give it to somebody that can use it. And what I like about this kind of like shelter place is that they don't have to purchase this stuff like at the thrift store. We are making a donation to somebody who's receiving this freely. And, I, and that's the type of thing. If I wanted to sell it, I could put things on Poshmark myself. Um, I like to give from my heart if I'm going to give. So, I'm donating it. I'm not going through these bags, but I'll tell you what I have. I'm really undecided about what to do with this stuff. I have this white with blue, green, and black stripe, and then this plaid. Both of these are a really thick flannel um, king size um, sheet set. We have a king size bed, but we have two sets of sheets for that bed. I think what I'm going to do is keep one of the flannels and get rid of the second pair. I only want two sets of sheets for that bed. I don't want a surplus of stuff. I used to have 10, 12 pairs of sheets in all kind of beautiful colors. I, I had these two because I had two sets of regular sheets for the warmer months and two sets of flannel sheets for the winter months because we love flannel sheets. We don't have to have the heat if we have a nice pair of flannel sheets. But since we don't sleep on that bed, it's just for company. I think I'm gonna keep, this is the newest pair. I think I'm gonna keep this one and take the other sheet set and put it in this bag. There's also some, two quilts. This is a quilt set, That those are the pillowcases. The quilt is in there as well. And then, this is a quilt, quilt set. Um, I think this is queen and everything else is king. And then I see some bath mats in here. I don't know if they'll take them, but they're good. I, I didn't pay a little bit of money. I paid good money for them. And I figure if somebody really needs something, I don't know. But sheets, I don't know if that's the most sanitary because people do have bed bugs and all kinds of stuff. We don't. I just don't know what they'll accept as far as donating, but they'll have to throw it away. I'm not going to throw it away. So I'm donating this bag. And then I'm also donating this bag. Now this bag has, you know, the shears that go up to your curtains. These are shears that I've used in the past, but won't be using again. These colors, this is brown. This is a deep purple, like an eggplant. Um, we have some white ones in there. Um, this is a king size mattress cover, um, which I could probably keep and put on my bed. I think I'm going to do that because it doesn't have a mattress cover on there and I have some company coming on the 17th. So I will keep this because I do need a mattress cover for the bed. Okay. Um, these balances went to, uh, to the top of all the windows in this house when we got them. We're not going to use those. 
And then this is a really, really big one. <clears throat> what it did, it's really big. See how long it is? So it kind of draped around the top and then came down on either side all the way to the floor. Really nice um, shears. Somebody would probably be happy to have them. I'm not going to use these colors anymore. I've gone in a different direction. So I am going to go ahead and donate. So there you got, go, you guys. I've only kept one thing, and that's because I realized that I really need this. I don't have a mattress cover on our guest bed. This is the one, and I don't think I knew where it was when we moved in here. And um, I originally made up the bed and I just never put it on. But I'm going to put this mattress cover on our guest bed. And this will keep for that. And then that one mirror that was cracked. Everything else will be donated. Probably take it the weekend. Because it's a little distance. And I don't like driving in weekday traffic. But there you are. I am purging you guys. I am getting rid of the things that I don't need. I've already had a conversation with my husband about these couches. We don't need them. They're taking up space. And I really need to use my office for an office. So I'm going to get rid of this stuff. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. If you do, leave me a comment uh, down below. And also, give me a thumbs up. Uh, so I know that you watched it and you liked it. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope this motivates you to clean out a closet, under a sink, under the bed, somewhere. Let's get rid of the stuff that we're not using so that it could be a blessing to somebody else. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.